Hello to all you lovely witches, wizards, and maybe even muggles. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to see more magical videos and join this magical family. In today's video, I am in my closet instead of my Harry Potter room because I had a request to show you guys my Harry Potter shirts. And I do have some Fantastic Beast ones as well. So I'm going to show you guys every single shirt and let you guys know where I got them from as well. And if I have any discount codes, I will let you guys know them as well. And I will also leave them down below in the description box so you guys can check them out too. But let's get into it. Let's check out my Harry Potter shirts and Fantastic Beast ones. Let's go. I already know my closet is going to be a major mess after this video, but it's all good because I want to show you guys these. And also, let me guys know if you guys want to see my Harry Potter long sleeve shirts and my crew necks as well because I have a bunch of them as well and I thought maybe you guys want to see them. So let me know. First shirt. Here we go. I usually get a size medium. This is a comfort color shirt. I love when companies print on comfort colors. They're so soft and cozy, but this is the Armotentia Love Potion shirt. I got this from Shop After Color. Causes a power infatuation or obsession. I love this. The details on this are really cute. And Shop After Color just has so many amazing designs. Like a lot of my shirts are from Shop After Color. And I do have a discount code with them. It's Summer McPhotos. We'll also leave it down below, but it's for 5% off your order. But this shirt is from them. It's super cute and it's super soft because it's on Comfort Colors. Now the next one size medium again and this is from rose and frill i hope i'm saying that correctly it's a canadian business that makes harry potter inspired t-shirts and other ones as well like they have some halloween designs right now uh for hocus pocus that are super cute but yes we got the honey dukes and this is embroidered by the way so it's super nice i really like this design though but super cute i love pink by the way one of my favorite colors, pink and yellow, is my favorite, and I also like red a lot. As you can tell, I have a lot of pink and red t-shirts. Next one is from Royal Coven, and it has their logo on the back, actually. But happy birthday, witch. I think this is so funny and cute. I like this little spin on the happy birthday Harry one. I love this, and I just like the little detail of it, making it look like Harry Potter's birthday cake that Hagrid makes him. So yeah, and I also actually have one from Rose and Frill as well. That is a Harry Potter one, a Harry Potter birthday cake one, but it actually says happy birthday, Harry, and this one is so soft. But look at that, that's embroidered on there as well again. All of her designs are embroidered and I love them. They're so beautiful. Like, I always love her designs. What else do we have? Okay. Lovely Dolling. This is from them. House Elf Liberators Alliance. I love this. So cute. Dobby's my favorite character, so I do like this shirt a lot because this is one of my favorites. And it looks like Dobby's right there in his little socks. I love that. What else? We have a Gryffindor shirt from Royal Coven. This one is cool. I like how it kind of looks like a little tie-dye-ish in a way with the red and like the lighter red. And this is embroidered as well with a lion right there, Gryffindor shirt. But the design like of this random splattered red goes around the whole shirt and I really like it. And it's on Comfort Colors again, one of the best shirts. Because they're super soft and cozy. If you haven't gotten a Comfort Color shirt, I recommend it because they are so soft. Look at another one. This one is from Free Soul Designs? Yes. Alright, this one says Courage and Bravery. So we got another Gryffindor one, kind of printed on the same style of t-shirt actually but this one is like screen printed on there and this one is a size small actually let me see and i got a size small for the lovely dolling one because it's like a canvas shirt so the style and fit is a little different on this one but usually i get mediums for an oversized look 
Now we got Rose and Frill again. Check out this one. I love this Halloween design. It has Hogwarts and a pumpkin. This one's super cool. And it's embroidered again. I really like embroidered designs. They're so pretty. We have another one from Rose and Frill. I told you, I really like her designs. They're so pretty and she was so kind to send these over. But this one says Hogwarts Quidditch and has a golden snitch. I like this one a lot. Alright, another Shop After Color Comfort Colors t-shirt. This one is screen printed. It says Gryffindor Hogwarts. Has like a little like college t-shirt vibe, I feel like. I like this one a lot though. You know what? I like everyone a lot. You know, I'm going to say that a lot. This one's my favorite. That one's my favorite. I can't decide. I'm too indecisive, you guys. But yes, I like them. I like them all. Next one is from Shop After Color. This one says Comfort Wash, but it's Comfort Colors, I'm pretty sure, because it literally feels exactly the same. But this says Hand-Me-Down Robes in Handmade Knit and Sweaters. This is so cute, Molly, since 1970. I like this design a lot. I love this. Like I said, I love everything because all these shirts are so cute. It's too hard to decide a favorite. This one is from Lovely Dolling. Has Granger on it and books. Stuff that reminds you of Hermione Granger. We got a quill and some ink. But yeah, let's see. Last red t-shirt. This one was made by one of my followers. They sent it to my P.O. box. So there's Harry Potter on the front side. And then on the back side, it says, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live, Dumbledore. I like that quote though. But yeah, that was so sweet of them. They sent this to my P.O. box and I have a couple other shirts that they made me as well. Now on to yellow. I have one yellow shirt and it is from Shop After Color, Sunshine Daisies, Butter Mellow. Turn this stupid fat rat yellow. I like this though. It's super cute and I love like the retro kind of design of it. It, it matches my aesthetic. Like I feel like this is super cute and I feel like if you wear this and in public, if someone recognizes it, they're super cool because it's so like retro looking and it honestly looks like a shirt that would be sold like at Forever 21 or something like that. So I feel like people would just pass over it if they didn't know that it was a Harry Potter reference. So if they notice it in public, they are a witch or wizard and they are super cool. So make sure you are friends with them. All right. Now, this one was from a subscription box from Geek Gear, Something Wicked This Way Comes. A Halloween design. I like this one though. It's not necessarily Harry Potter, but it is in a sense because it came with the Harry Potter box. But yes, it has the Harry Potter vibe that they're trying to go for. Last shirt on this shelf is from the Hufflepuff Manor. This one says Hagrid's Pumpkin Patch, Pumpkin Juice, Rock Cakes, and Treckle Tarts. Super cute. I like this one though because it references some of the book stuff like Rock Cakes, like something that Hagrid makes. But yeah, that is adorable and it gives me Halloween vibes. So I'm super excited to wear this during September and October because I'm already wearing Halloween shirts, you guys. Also, this shirt is from Rose and Frill as well. This one is embroidered too. And it has the Deathly Hallows on it and it has a little pumpkin. But this one's super cute too. But now, on to the second shelf. We cleared one whole shelf. Now, let's see what we got on the second one and where it's from. So this is from the Poppy Print Co. If I could turn back time. This design is adorable. I really like the time turner design. This is screen printed and I just love it though. The quality, again, comfort colors, amazing, can never go wrong. Comfort colors, like I said, is my favorite t-shirt that people print on. This one is from Shop After Color. We got another comfort colors, but it says, if I can grab it, there we go, all was well and we got 
three little stars that we would see on the corner of the book pages and all was well on the back too. I like when shirts have a back design so you can see that as well. But yeah, but honestly my hair is really long so it covers it up most of the time so I try to like put my hair to the side or wear my hair up if I do wear one of those ones so you can see the design on the back of the shirt. This one is from Shop After Color once again. Like I said, I got a lot of Shop After Color. They got so many cute Harry Potter designs and Fantastic Beast ones. But this is Trelawney's Tea House. You have the Grim, and the Grim is right there. Divine Tea Blends, Teacup Readings. This is a cool design. I just really like the Grim cup right there. And I think it's cool how she made it like a Trelawney's Tea House spin on it because of the teacups. But here's a closer look at the design. Let's see. We got more Shop After Color. I'm Coming Home. This is like one of my first shirts that I got from them. This one I really like. It just, I'm coming home, like, and it's the Weasley's flying car. Yes, it's just perfect. And I just really like this design. And there's also the Hogwarts Express right there going over the bridge. So, like, details are, like, insane on that shirt. Now we got... The Hufflepuff Manor again. I have a good feeling about Hagrid's and then it has Felix Felicius aka Liquid Luck. This design is awesome and I just like how they also included the little potion bottle too. Super cool and I like the style of the writing. It's really nice as well. Let's see. I won this one in a giveaway, actually. This one is from the Magical Library, and it says just a bit of light reading, and it says magical history on the book. We got a cup that's filled with tea and a wand. There's a close-up of the design, but yeah, I won this in a giveaway. Now, on to the next. We got this one from, let's see trying to remember I think this one was from free soul designs yeah I have a list of like all the businesses that I got them from that I, I wrote down like all the names so I could remember them but free soul designs defense against the dark arts this design is cool though check that out and it's also printed on comfort colors you guessed it and this size i actually got in a small that was like one of the first comfort color shirts that i got and i realized i like a bigger fit because i like being able to tuck my shirts in and have a looser fit to them or if i don't want to tuck them in i like having them a little bit bigger and baggier we got the three stars that we would see on the book pages in the corner right there and then it says on the back it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live Dumbledore's quote right there I like that quote a lot though and last blue shirt is from Rose and Frill again look at the embroidery of that Hermione Granger making the polyjuice potion this embroidery job is just so nice I really like that now let's see on to the next one we got one purple shirt for short sleeve and it has the little stars again right there and then on the back it says don't let the muggles get you down and it has the three stars again within the design and this is from shop after color as well we got this one this one's super cool this is the drawing that Draco Malfoy does and this is embroidered by Rose and Frill but this embroidered job is super cool I really like it and you could even see his little scar on his forehead it's adorable the details on this are amazing and even has Draco Malfoy's initials right there too yeah I really like that one this one is from the common room shop bravery and adventure and i love all the details on this shirt there's butterbeer there's potions a gryffindor scarf we got a book and quill a broom a wand boots 
time turner. We got the Sorcerer's Stone. We got the Golden Snitch. We got Hogwarts acceptance letters. There's so much on this. Like, look at that. It's so pretty. I love the art style of that one. But another Gryffindor inspired shirt. But this is from the Common Room Shop. And they have really cute designs as well. I have another shirt from them too. I will let you guys know which shirt is from them though. Let's see. This one is from Darling Dream Co. This says, Wizarding calories don't count. They don't. They don't. Look at that. This design is super cute. I love the art style on this one. I really do. This is from Darling Dream Co. And let's see. This one is from Magically Unbreakable. And this one has the howler on the front side. And then on the back side, it says, Ronald Weasley, how dare you steal that car? I am absolutely disgusted. Your father is now facing an inquiry at work, and it's entirely your fault. If you put one toe out of line, bring you straight home. And oh, Jenny, dear, congrats on making Gryffindor. Your father and I are so proud. Yes. I love that. That is perfect. Okay, now a Fantastic B shirt from Shop After Color. Look at it. Oh my gosh. It's got Picket the Bow Treckle on it. But yes, this would be Newt Scamander's Creature Feed Store. I love that. This one is from Free Soul Designs as well, Care of Magical Creatures. We got a unicorn, we got a dragon, and we also got a hippogriff on there. That's super cool. And Care of Magical Creatures would be one of my favorite classes at Hogwarts, so I really like this shirt. And then, oh wait, we got two more shirts on this one. This one is from the Poppy Print Co. It says, good luck, Harry has a Hogwarts acceptance letter, Time Turner, Golden Snitch, the Deathly Hallows symbol, the three stars that we see in the book pages within the books. We got the little footsteps that we would see on the Marauders map and the lightning scar. There it is, but this is from the Poppy Print Co. Last shirt on the shelf is from Get Lost in the Magic, and this says Marauder Padfoot. This is meant to like represent Sirius Black, and it says, we've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. That's who we really are. I really like that, but that is like supposed to represent Sirius Black. Sorry, it's so wrinkled. It's on the bottom. I need to get something to put on here so that don't get so wrinkled. So I got to think of something for that. Maybe like a little piece of wood. I don't know. But yes, that is super cool design though. We have one and a half shelves left because these are the long sleeve shirts. And I will put these in the video with the crew necks because I definitely have way more shirts than long sleeves and crew necks probably combined. Also, I do have Harry Potter holiday ones so like these are like Christmas ones let me know if you guys want to see that within the next video or closer to Christmas so I can make another video about those as well just let me know down below in the comments but here we go on to the third shelf in the third row we're starting off with the common room shop this design is super cool I really like the look to this one it says of course it's happening inside your head but look at that that is super cool. If you didn't know that this was a Harry Potter quote, you would not understand, like, the quote, like, at all. You would just think it's a normal shirt, which I think is pretty cool. So, if any Harry Potter fan sees this one in public, they are definitely your witch or wizard if they notice it and let you know. But, yeah, I really like the design of that one. And that one was from the Common Room Shop. This one is from Shop After Color. Kowalski's Bakery and it says just like grandma used to make so cute and it says bread pastries cakes and fancy confections I like the design of that one a lot and honestly this is super cute just because like I feel like 
there would be maybe merchandise at Jacob Kowalski's bakery if it was during 2022, you know what I mean? I feel like there would be shirts there. This one is from the Common Room Shop as well. Marauders Drive-In Theater. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. This design is super cool. I like the retro look to it. Once again, honestly, retro looks are super cool with the Harry Potter designs. And it really works well with the Marauders theme too. But next one is from Lovely Dolling. Herbology, we got a mandrake on there and other plants too, but I really like this design and I like how they put the mandrake right there too. Just he looks so chill and relaxed even though mandrakes are crazy and screaming and crying usually once you pull them out of the pot, but this is from Lovely Dolling. And also, this next shirt is from Lovely Dolling as well, Gryffindor Dormitory. I like that. And look at the little tie in the word. That's cute too. And this one is from the Hufflepuff Banner. Babbling, bumbling band of baboons. This is cute. I'm trying to make it where you guys can see the writing. There you guys go. Hopefully you can see it. Next one, Madam Pedfoot's tea and cakes a good place for a date and quotes really small at the bottom of the print that's cute though i love this one and i just love the little subtlety of it as well for a harry potter reference and i like how they put that a good place for a date and the next shirt i'm about to show is also from shop after color actually the next two shirts this one if you guys know, my favorite soundtrack from Harry Potter is Double Trouble. Look, it's like sheet music of Double Trouble, which is so cool because I used to be in choir. So I love this. This is amazing in every single way. I love all the details of that one. Now, on to the brown shirt that I have from Shop After Color. We got Remus Lupin on the front. And then on the back it says, eat, you'll feel better with the chocolate bar. Yes, this is amazing. I love this design as well. Like I said, I love all these designs. And Shop After Color just like always, yes, they always do an amazing job. Okay. These next two shirts were made by a follower that sent these to my P.O. Box. They were the one that made me the red shirt earlier. So this one has a Gryffindor logo on it right there, just like that. Super simple, but I like that. And we also got the Deathly Hallows symbol right there. We got a little HP on the sleeve, which is pretty cool. And then on the back, it says, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good, Harry Potter. There's that one. This one is from Box Lunch. The Dementors Harry Potter. This one is amazing. I really like the style of this one. And then also the next shirt that I'm about to show you has the same kind of style too. But sadly this company rebranded and then they stopped posting so I don't know what happened. I think they just might have went out of business or just, you know, life happens and stuff. But this was from Ophelia and Ray, but sadly they don't make these anymore. And they don't have Harry Potter clothes at the moment from what it looks like. But this says the Sorcerer's Stone, Dark Magic with Friends, and it's the same type of style. This one's really cool too. I thought that they make one for every book the way that they had it set up so I was getting so excited because I love this type of art style so I was really excited but at least I got the first one that's all that matters but yeah sadly I think they went out of business or just stopped posting and these last ones were also made by one of my followers that sent the other ones that they made too. We got the golden snitch on the front and on the back it says anything's possible if you've got enough nerve. Jenny Weasley and Jenny Weasley is one of my favorite characters especially to cosplay but Dobby's my all-time favorite character. 
but book Jenny is better than movie Jenny. I will say movie Jenny, not cutting it compared to book Jenny at all. On the front of this one, we got the Popform 9 and 3 quarters logo. And then on the back, it says, don't let the muggles get you down, Ron Weasley. Okay. We got two more. This one says Gryffindor. And the back of this one's super cool. Check out that. I really like the back of the design on that one. And last shirt on this shelf, Gryffindor. And then look at the back side. This is like meant to represent the years that the movies came out. I think that is so funny and awesome. But yes, now we are on to the last shelf. We do have this last stack right here and these are long sleeve ones. So if you guys do want to see the long sleeve ones, let me know and I'll also include it within the crew next video that also will have the sweatshirts as well. So let me know, but now on to the next row. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left on this side. But I did realize that I have two Harry Potter crop tops as well. So you know what? I'm going to show those two in this video. But let's continue over here first. This is from Shop After Color, The Weird Sisters World Tour 1994. Look at that. That's cool. But yes, the Weird Sisters is a wizarding band within the wizarding world, if you didn't know already. But I thought that was pretty cool how they did that. And this one is from Hazel Society Shop. It has the Hogwarts castle and it says the castle on it. I like the line work of that. And I just like the simple line work design as well. I just think it's really pretty to showcase Hogwarts like that. And we got this shirt from the Secrets of Dumbledore box that I recently got not too long ago. So this was gifted to me and it has the Fantastic Beasts of Secrets of Dumbledore logo on the front. Check that out. And then it also has the logo on the back. That's super pretty as well. I really like the back of this shirt. And this one was gifted to me by one of my followers. She sent this from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Florida, which is so sweet of her. And she also gave me the matching mug, which was amazing. And I honestly still can't believe it. So yeah, but let's see. This one says, free the house elves. And it has Dobby on the front because she knows Dobby's my favorite character. And then on the back it says Dobby has no master, Dobby is a free elf, and it has a little sock right there as well. But yeah, she got me the matching mug, which I thought was so sweet. I got this shirt from Hot Topic. It has Teddy the Niffler on it. And I honestly like this one because it kind of looks like, like a rap album cover in a way. I don't know, that's the vibe that I get from it, but that's super cute and funny, and I got that at Hot Topic. I got this one gifted to me at a Fantastic Beasts event, uh, Jacob Kowalski's bakery truck that came to San Diego. They gifted me this, but Kowalski's bakery quality baked goods, and it has little baked nifflers on the front right there. The last Harry Potter t-shirt that I have is from Lovely Darling. It says home, and it has the Hogwarts castle. Hogwarts is my home. And we got two Harry Potter crop tops that I almost forgot about. I got this one at Hot Topic. It has the Weasley's Flying Ford Angula on the front pocket. And then on the back, it has the Whomping Willow. This is just super cute. And I really like this design. But this was from Hot Topic. And the second one was made by Fandom Love Designs. It's the Hogwarts Castle. I really like this one. And it's sparkly. Look at that. If you can see, it's sparkling. But yes, this is from Fandom Love Designs. But those are all my Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast shirts that I have. You guys know if you guys want to see my Harry Potter long sleeve shirts and also my crew necks and sweatshirts. Let me know though in the comments down below. But that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to see more magical videos and join this magical family. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys check out my other videos and show some love. It really means a lot. But thank you guys for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye!